Hello, and thank you for joining us. My name is Brett Wells. I'm a technical representative with Sigma. Today, I'd like to share a quick look at some of the features and functions that have been added to and improved upon through the recent release of firmware version 2.0 for the Sigma FP camera. Our engineers have been working continuously since the launch of the FP to enhance and refine the functionality of the camera through firmware updates. And this most recent update adds some exciting new features that make the camera even more impressive. Let's start by taking a closer look at the features and functions made possible through this firmware update. With firmware version 2.0, the FP can now utilize dual base ISOs, which will yield better image quality when using ISOs of 3200 or higher. If you're not familiar with the concept, it means that the FP utilizes one channel of circuitry for processing ISOs 100 to 1600, where the gain required is relatively low, and another channel for processing ISOs 3200 to 102400, where the gain required is comparatively higher. Splitting the processing circuits into dedicated low and high gain channels allows for better optimization of the signal coming from the sensor, resulting in less noise and better dynamic range at ISOs 3200 and above. Available frame rate options while recording in the Cinema DNG format have been increased for FHD and UHD resolutions. 25 and 29.97 frames per second are now available in UHD 12-bit recording. 100 frames per second is now available in FHD 12-bit recording. 100 and 119.88 frames per second are now available in FHD 8-bit and 10-bit recording. These newly added frame rates give more flexibility to shooting in UHD resolution in both PAL and in TSC region, and give more options for high-speed recording in FHD. The FP can now review footage recorded in the Cinema DNG format in camera via the playback mode. This new ability to review footage in camera without needing to first transfer footage to a computer makes it much easier to implement the higher quality Cinema DNG format in a production environment. Options for recording externally have been expanded to include DCI 4K 12-bit RAW output over HDMI. Since its launch, the FB has been capable of recording footage directly to an external SSD via the USB-C port. This new functionality now adds the option to output footage over the micro HDMI port to an external recorder, allowing users to choose between Cinema DNG, ProRes RAW, or Blackmagic RAW codecs. ProRes RAW and Blackmagic RAW offer visually lossless processing with significantly smaller file sizes than Cinema DNG. These added options also open up greater file compatibility with more video editing programs. The FP can now also pull a full resolution still image from a recorded video file in camera. This new functionality makes it easier for FP owners to successfully capture the decisive moment. By recording your subject in a video format, you're now capturing between 25 and 120 frames of action per second, allowing you to then simply choose the exact moment that best captures the scene. This feature also allows production teams to quickly and easily share their work with team members. The FP can now create and edit cinemagraphs in camera. This new feature allows users to shoot and edit eye-catching cinemagraphs directly in camera without needing to spend time in an editing suite on a computer. The FP now supports HDR filming in cine mode. This new feature allows for greater retention of dynamic range when filming in high contrast situations. Color profile modes can now be turned off completely to deliver more neutral toned footage. This new option allows you to record both stills and video without applying a color profile, emulating the flat look and broad dynamic range of a raw format. The FP now also supports remote camera control through the software development kit or SDK. This allows for remote operation of the camera when connected to a compatible gimbal or drone further increasing the usefulness of the FP's extremely compact profile for remote use. Autofocus acquisition and tracking speeds have improved, making the FP's autofocus more responsive in a broad range of uses. USB video class use stability has been improved, and exposure settings can now be modified while the camera is connected to a computer. The FP has been a uniquely capable camera for tethered streaming since its launch, and this increase in stability and flexibility make it even easier to use for streaming. These are just some of the improvements we think will most excite current and future FP owners. 
For a complete list of the features and functions improved through firmware version 2.0, check out the FP's product page at sigmaphoto.com. While you're there, check out some of the other feature highlights and user impressions published on our blog. If you're ready to see the FP in person, you can find a handy dealer locator under the Where to Buy link. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.